Okay. Sweet, okay, sweet, on. sweet. Okay. Here? Nice. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Good. Awesome. <laughs> so clearly writers and executive producers get along really well on your set. Yes? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that not normal? I don't know. You know, yeah. sometimes like the fact of having the writers involved of the novel with the show is is kind of doesn't always work out. No, it's a terrible idea. It's a it's a genuinely bad idea to have the novelists in there trying to help adapt their own work. That is it's completely untrue. Is it, <laughs> although I will say, when when they hired me to run the Expanse, um, they said, "Oh, by the way, the uh, authors of the book are going to be in the room with you in the writers' room." And the first words out of my mouth were, "You sure that's a good idea?" Um, I was very nervous about it because people can get precious, and you hear all sorts of horror stories. And I've worked I've worked with authors who have been problematic, um, but. In this case, it was like day one. We talked about how I, I, I said, you know, this is how I feel we can approach this material. And Ty and Daniel were awesome because they they had, you know, they were cognizant of the fact that this was a different medium, and they were very willing to to, to open the book up that way. And having them around is fantastic because they don't let me break shit. It's like any number of times I go. Well, maybe this guy should be killed in this thing. And Daniel go, well, that'll really fuck up book five. Yeah. <laughs> Cause Cause he's I, a main I know where it goes. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. if you kill him now, that's going to be weird. Yeah. That's going to be uh, yeah, awkward. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of translating the book to film, what has been a moment that didn't make it from the books to film that you wish could have? I have that moment. This is a really interesting moment Jermaine and I had when we were working on uh, season one. There's, there's a moment in the book where uh, Miller has it explained to him very clearly and specifically by his partner that he's the joke of the, uh, the security force. He's the, he's the joke in the police force. And everybody loved that moment. Everybody in the room loved that moment. I loved that moment. And we had the whole season laid out and we had the card that was that moment. And we kept trying to find a place to put it and it just didn't fit. And every place we put it, there was uh, already something there that did that structurally. So, but but maybe you've forgotten in episode five in season one, the the conversation that Miller has with Mus, that idea is expressed, yeah. and 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 that she she is she she doesn't expl tell him that he's the joke, but she implies it and he takes it that way, and it's a heartbreaking moment yeah. because she, he knows that that's how he's perceived, and so. It, it, it did wind up in the narrative, just not quite that way. Which is which is the beautiful part about watching this. They're watching the different version of the same story play out um, is is really awesome. We you know what it is? We forked the books basically. It's it's the old computer you know computer science. We we, we forked it. It's a it's a it's a version of it, but it's its yeah. own kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite moment that got translated perfectly for you? We keep saying it, it's just got to be Julian Miller. It's Julian it's, Miller. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Eros crashing into Venus, and uh, that that was... It was beautiful. It was amazing. It really was. And it, it's such an important, cathartic moment in the story, and if we had biffed it, that would have been very sad, and we didn't. I don't think any... I, I, there was so much intensity in like every department and everybody involved in the show to make sure that was done right. well um, and I think everybody went above and beyond what can we look forward to for the next season that you can tell us there are a bunch of amazing actors coming on to play with us there are, are some storylines that we have prom been promising for years that we would pay out and we're going to pay them out here um, and things are you know, if you've read the books, you know things keep getting bigger and more complicated, and the stakes keep getting higher and worse and more unexpected. And it's good. We're going to do that. A lot of it, you're going to get some answers. These are answers that come with their own set of questions. And uh, the war that you know we've been promising for two years uh, is, is happening. That's how it starts. And and all of the consequences. Absolutely. Oh, it's going to be ugly. Yep. What order should people approach the show? Read the show. I mean, yeah, read it or watch it, or watch it, then read it. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's two different versions of the same story, so right. either way you go. It's kind of like saying, should you see the Nolan Batman first or uh, read the comic books? It's, you know, it's, you know, it's all Batman. It's all going to be The Expanse. I think the difference is 
because of how we've done the adaptation, the series incorporates the novellas directly into the narrative in, yeah. in many ways. So it's kind of a different thing. It's like if you just read the novels, you wouldn't actually get the novellas. Yeah. And now you're kind of getting both. Cool. Wonderful. Thank you. Looking forward to the next season. Thank, Thank you. you.